In the beginning, God made the world and everything in it. Among everything that He made, He made man, which was His greatest creation. Man soon rebelled and needed someone who would deliver him, a savior. Throughout time, from many creeds, nations, tongues, and people, from generation to generation, kingdom to kingdom, the coming of the savior had been foretold and expected. He would be the one to restore things back to the way God intended. But when he came to the earth, no one even knew who he was. He traveled the land spreading the truth of God's word to everyone he came across letting them know that there's hope for a much better life. There was no place that he didn't journey into. As long as there were people who would listen, there was a reason to go. Crowds gathered as he spoke. They were amazed by the words that came out of his mouth. Even those that were pushed aside and left by the wayside, he did not neglect. For he is the light of the world. Whoever follows him will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. In situations where people felt that they were all alone and had no one to turn to or talk to, where they exhausted all their resources and had come to a dead end and were still suffering. When it looked like this was going to be their way of life, and they had no choice. He showed them that they did have a choice, that there was another way besides the way that they knew. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except they come through Him. Because in the Father there is life. And the life is a light of men. He came across every form of bondage that people were subject to. Crippled, lame, oppressed, whether it was physical or spiritual, he had compassion for them all. Because in his eyes, they were like sheep without a shepherd. A lost flock wandering around in the desert without food, water, or guidance. He saw their needs and wanted them to know that he was able to fulfill them. and that no matter what situation they might find themselves in, 
he would be there. Through him, everyone who believes is set free from every sin. A justification they were not able to obtain by themselves. Because whosoever the Son sets free is free indeed. As the night drew near and the clouds covered the sky, uneasiness settled on the land, and a place where only the dead are found, there was movement. The sounds of the evening could mask the groans of bondage coming from this man. He lived in tombs and no one could bind him, not even with chains. He had been bound several times over both hand and foot and had broken the chains time and time again. Completely consumed and controlled by demons and devils, he had no will of his own it seemed. He had been completely exhausted, mind, body, and soul, and desperately needed to be set free. It seemed like an impossible situation, but what is impossible for man is always possible with God. The kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. Because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Soon he was in his right mind and freed from the ongoing bondage. But the demons, the oppressed, were lurking around to cause even more hardship. <laughs> he was beaten, bruised, and discarded. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him would not perish, but will have everlasting life. His body was brought down and wrapped in a linen cloth. It was placed in a tomb cut out of a stone. Over the entrance, a large stone had been rolled to seal it. Those who had been touched by his words and acts gathered to mourn his passing. They couldn't understand how something like this could happen to someone who had only done good and received evil in return. 
and the evil it seemed had just begun. For centuries, the enemy has hated God and man and has looked for every opportunity to bring an end to them both. Now it seemed as though the time had come. The one that God sent as the ultimate savior wasn't in the way anymore. So now the enemy could have rule over man the way that he wanted. Destruction, death, sickness, poverty. All the things that made this life unbearable came from him. All that was left for him to do was make the final call. But this wasn't to be. Because he shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of death and free those who all their lives were held in slavery. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to him, Jesus. Therefore go and make disciples of nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to obey everything that he has shown and commanded, and he will be with us always, even to the end of the age. <laughs>